What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Simply Food by TY, and I am here to talk to you guys about my pre-op diet and the journey that I'm about to embark leading up to the days of my gastric bypass. Let's get into it. Whipping up all of your favorite recipes. Simply Food. You should know by now that you're in for a treat. Simply Food. There's no other channel where you'd rather be. Simply Food. Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies. Sing your laugh and even cry. Like and share and hit subscribe. Simply Food by T.Y. All right, y'all. So let's just talk about it really quick. So. In order for me to have my procedure, I have to have a pre-op diet. Now, the pre-op diet is also known as the liver shrinking diet. Now, some of you guys might be like, what the hell does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you. Pretty much, the whole purpose of this diet, the pre-operative diet, is to shrink your liver as much as you possibly can before you actually have your gastric bypass. And the purpose of this is so that it's easier for the surgeon to be able to gain access to where your stomach is without having to do a lot of moving around with your liver. Of course, your liver is gonna stay fully intact and inside your body, clearly, while you're having the surgery. So if it's too enlarged, that makes it far more difficult for the surgeon, and it also can add a lot of risky factors. So your surgeon will place you on a preoperative diet um, now this will depend on your size, where you live, uh, what your surgeon decides and all that as far as how long it's going to be. From what I'm understanding, the minimum is two weeks, but that could very well just be in my state. Um, for me, mine is going to be 20 long days, okay? So it is currently July 23rd and I have begun my preoperative diet. So I'm going to show you guys what... I'm going to be having on this preoperative diet, which won't, won't be much. So I don't know if I'm going to do an update every single day because it's going to be the exact same thing every day. But what I will do is as the days go by and if I start to notice any changes, you know, if my mood shifts, if I'm starting to feel lightheaded, you know, if I, you know, decide to switch to a different type of protein shake, I'll make sure I keep you guys updated on that. But I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek at the protein shakes that I'm going to be drinking. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having three protein shakes per day uh, for breakfast, lunch, and then for like my midday snack. And then I will have one actual meal at the end of the day. Now, as far as the meal is concerned, if you have as far as a meat, it can be four ounces, I believe. And if you're going to have seafood, it can be about six ounces. And with that, you can have one to two cups of vegetables. That's it. No snacking in between, no juices, sodas, carbonated drinks, none of that. Nothing but water and your protein shakes. Um, I was advised that if any point, really, my lights be on team too much. I was advised that if at any point I start to feel lightheaded along the way, I can have like a slice of turkey or something like that. Because of course, you know, I'm not going to be having any more than 50 carbs total. And my sugar intake is practically none. The protein shakes that I'm going to be taking are plant-based and they only have one gram of sugar. So if I'm taking three, that means I'm only having three grams of sugar per day. Which is very, very low for a big bitch like me, okay? So, let me stop talking. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to be using. And that's about it for now. All right, you guys. So, these are the protein shakes that I'm going to be using during my preoperative diet. I'm going to be using the Organ Plant Protein Shake. As you can see, it is non-GMO. It has 20 grams of plant-based protein and one gram of sugar. Now, let me just show you guys what's on the back here. Um, so it has 4.5 grams of total fat, 450 milligrams of sodium, 9 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of sugar, 20 grams of protein, and this is 11 ounces. So that's pretty much what I'll be having. As you can see, I have them stacked up in my fridge. That's what I'll be having for my breakfast, my lunch, and my midday kind of like snack thing. Now, I also want to make sure that I show you guys that this right here is going to be my new best friend. This is going to be my food scale. I'll be I'll be pretty much weighing all of my food probably for the next three months. But I also have the big containers of the Organ Protein Powder. But this one is um, 21 grams of plant protein. 
um, has six probiotics in it, fiber, and this one has zero grams of sugar. So that's the bigger one. I probably won't use this until well after I'm in stage four, just because I'm gonna find it a lot easier for me to have the ready-made stuff so I don't have to think about how much uh, fruit to put in and you know, all of that type of stuff. I just wanna be on the easier side. And then I'm also gonna be adding in the collagen peptide, hair, skin, nail, and joint support as well when I start using the big powders, because that'll also help with making sure that, you know, my skin is looking good, tightening up as much as it possibly can, making sure that my bones and everything stay nice and tight and right. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, I am currently chilling in bed, honey. I am editing um, a video. I'm actually editing that Q&A video that y'all saw. Um, so I'm on protein shake number three. It is three o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm on my third protein shake. Um, they're fine. They don't taste bad at all. Um, and I chose, I don't know if I said this, but the reason why I chose the plant protein instead of like the regular protein shakes is because I've been told and I've researched a lot about this, that a lot of people end up having a lactose intolerance in a sense um, after they have their procedure. Um, and so I personally wanted to train myself to like this plant-based one just in case that happens to me because I didn't want to find out later on down the line that I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, these ones have um, 20, hold on, wait, can y'all see that? 20 grams of protein um, and it only has one gram of sugar. So it'll be fine. I will make sure that I show y'all what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Um, I'm going to have a piece of salmon. Like I said, if I'm having fish, I can have six ounces. Um, and uh, I'm going to have some broccoli with it, with a little bit of seasoning. And that's pretty much about it. I don't really know how many days I'm going to actually vlog because for the most part, the meals are going to be the exact same. They're not going to be different. Uh, the days when I prepare a different type of dinner, that's probably when I'll come back and I'll just let you guys know how far into, you know, uh, the diet it is. Today is day one of 20. You know what I'm saying? So I'll keep y'all updated. I'm probably going to switch in and out between, I would say, probably um, the fish, chicken breast, and... Uh, Probably a pork chop. Pork chop is on the list, so I can bake those, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to get back to editing, finish this bad boy up, and I will see y'all at dinner time. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to show you guys the salmon um, that I'm going to be having a lot during this 20-day pre-op diet. I actually get these from Costco, and when I tell you... I've been obsessed with these even before this diet thing comes around. This salmon is everything. And the best thing about it is that it's actually six ounces per piece of um, the fish anyway. And everything as far as the ingredients, the protein, the protein's 31 grams of protein. Carbs are really low. There's no sugar. I don't really have to be as concerned about the sodium. The cholesterol is fine. The fat is fine. But the best thing about it is, is look at the ingredients. The ingredients are straight to the point. It's not filled with a bunch of crap. Um, let me show you guys what they look like. They come in packs like this and you take them out of the pack. You can cook them in the microwave if you want, but I never do that. I put mine in the oven. Um, but one of these packs is about six ounces. So I just wanted to show you guys what this salmon is that I will be eating for the most part because... Um, this right here was a game changer. I asked my dietitian and she said, yes, it's okay. So that's good. The other thing I want to show you guys is I'm able to have three ounces of fruit as well as yogurt as well. Um, that was a lot of as wells, but anywho, um, this is the brand that I'm going to be using. Um, this is too good. It only has two grams of sugar. Um, it has 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, three carbs, zero added sugar, and it's a Greek low fat yogurt. Um, so I'm really excited about this because I've had this brand before, so I already know that I enjoy it. What I will say is this, if you are considering getting, you know, the gastric bypass or the sleeve or any of that type of stuff, I would highly suggest that you guys try out a lot of different things before 
you have to start your pre-op diet and your post-op diet so that you'll already know what type of foods that you will like so that it'll be a lot easier for you when it comes down time to figuring out what you guys like. So this is what I'll be having for dinner. Well, not this, but the salmon and I'm also gonna have some broccoli. So I'll show y'all my plate in a minute. All right, you guys, so here is my dinner for day one. I have roughly about one and a half cups of cooked broccoli and then my piece of salmon. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and grub and then that's gonna be it for today. And we'll start all over with day two. So I wanted to make sure that I also give you guys this little bit of insight here as well. Um, as I may or may not have stated earlier in the video, some patients when they're having their weight loss surgery, their particular surgeon or the dietitian will request for them to be on a full liquid diet. Now, in my case, I don't have to do that, which I'm very, very grateful for because my preoperative diet is 20 days. So 20 days on nothing but a liquid diet seems very daunting to me. So in my case, I'm able to actually have solid food as well. And so in my weight loss binder, they also give me a little, you know, breakdown menu of some suggestions on what I can do throughout the day to help get in, you know, the food that I need and different suggestions on what I can eat and how to best utilize, um, you know, the servings that I'm allowed to have. Um, as I stated earlier in the video, I already told you guys that I'm going to be having three protein shakes. So mine is for breakfast, lunch, and my midday snack. And then I save my actual meal of the day for dinner. And, you know, so far it's been working out great. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, they give you this type of stuff in your weight loss binder to kind of really help you along the way. What's good, y'all? So it is day three of my pre-op diet. And I wanted to, you know, like I said, as I added in new ingredients to my diet, I would make sure that I told you guys what that was. So for today, I'm going to be having a cabbage medley. So what this is, is cabbage, kale, and broccoli. Um, I did not put any butter or oil in this. This is based with the Better Than Bouillon Seasoned Vegetable Base. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this really quickly because when you're not able to use butter, oil, you know, smoked meats, sugar, and all that type of stuff, sometimes you can kind of struggle to get your food to taste pretty good. But if you start off with a solid base, that will save you a lot of time and compensate with a lot of great flavor. So this organic Better Than Bouillon Seasoned Vegetable Base is what I'm using. I put in one tablespoon of this to about, I would say roughly six to eight cups of water. Um, as you can see, the ingredients in it are straight to the point. Um, you know, the nutritional facts are not bad at all. There's not that much sugar in it. And like I said, although, you know, that sodium there, as you can see, is pretty high, I use a lot more water than what's suggested. And of course, you're not going to eat this entire thing at one time. But also, another really important thing to note about this Better Than Bouillon product is that this is going to be fantastic for people um, for the post-op. When I get to my phase one, when I can only have thin liquids, this, the chicken base, and the beef is what I'm going to be using. I'm not a fan of the boxed versions of chicken stock and broths, but this stuff right here is out of this world. So I would definitely suggest get your hands on this because when I make my broccoli or when I make, you know, this or any other type of vegetables that I make down the line during this prop and probably in the future as well, I'll use the Better Than Bouillon product. So I just wanted to make sure I told you guys about that. So like I said, I'm going to be having this for dinner tonight, about one and a half cups of this mix. And I'm also going to be baking pork chops. So I'll make sure that I show you guys my finished plate later on tonight when I'm ready to have my dinner. Okay, so we are at dinner time. So I went ahead and weighed out my pork chops. So that's about 4.1. I'm allowed to have four ounces. So I have about one and a half pork chops. And then I have about one and a half cups of my vegetables. As you can see, I still have pork chops left. So that will be perfect because that'll probably equal out to about four ounces tomorrow. And yes, I definitely chopped off the bones because I'm not going to eat those. So I didn't want those to mess up the measurements. So yeah, this is my dinner. I'm about to go in. And I guess the next time you guys will see me is, is probably the day that I decide to finally cook chicken. So time for me to go eat ya. What's up, you guys? Um, so it is day six. Um, I know that I look absolutely crazy. I'm laying down. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, so this morning, I took my blood sugar for the first time. 
and my blood sugar was 69, which is hypoglycemic, which is not good, it's way too low. Um, I knew that this was going to happen to me because I take metformin, which is a medicine to help control um, diabetes. Um, but my dosage for my metformin was 2000 milligrams. I take two in the morning, two in the evening, 500 milligrams a piece. And I kept asking my doctors, I was like, this does not seem right that I'm taking this high of a dosage when I'm only going to be taking in less than 10 grams of sugar per day. Pretty much around five or six grams of sugar is all I'm consuming. Um, and they still wanted me to take it. And clearly now look what's happened. So I was advised to stop taking it, of course. Um, but I'm feeling fine. I didn't have any symptoms. Just something told me to check my blood sugar, so I did. Um, so I'm just going to take it easy today. But beyond that, things are going well. Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning. It is the morning of day seven. So we have made it to day seven. Um, I have checked my uh, blood sugar this morning. And it is 93. So it is starting to slightly go up a little bit. Like I said yesterday, it was 69. So it was dangerously low. Um, I've just gotten back in from my walk. But you guys, we've made it to day seven. Let's just keep on pushing, honey. Good morning, guys. It is the morning of day eight. We are up being active. I try to walk about a half a mile to a mile every morning. As you guys can see, I'm on the pathway. That's why it's so loud. But just wanted to say, honey, this is not the time to be lazy. Our bitch is trying to get fit. All right, y'all, so I wanted to show y'all what I'm going to be having for lunch for day eight. So typically, like I said, during the day, I have three protein shakes, and then I have an actual meal for dinner. Today, I'm switching it up. I'm going to have a meal for my uh, lunchtime instead of a protein shake. So what I have is two boiled eggs that I've turned into four deviled eggs. Now, these aren't your standard deviled eggs. I only used one teaspoon of light mayonnaise and a fourth of a teaspoon of mustard with just salt and pepper. So, I mean, you know, they're not your everyday cookout deviled eggs, but they will definitely do the trick for today. And then I have 1.7 ounces of lean turkey. And I'm going to also have um, one of my two good strawberry Greek flavored yogurts. So this will actually, you know, this will this will be pretty substantial for me to have at this point in the day. I'll have another protein shake for my afternoon snack and then I'll have my regular dinner. But just wanted to show y'all. Good morning, you guys. It is the morning of day 10. Y'all, we have made it to the halfway point and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, you know, today is a pretty big day for two different reasons. First, and the most important, of course, is that we've made it to day 10. So that definitely means that we're at the halfway point and we're in the home stretch. Um, and I will say this, for the first 10 days, things have been going well. Uh, you know, beyond that little scare at the beginning when my blood sugar dropped. I mean, I've been doing fine. I haven't really felt deprived of food. There have been moments when I've wanted to cheat, but my guilt kicks in and so I don't do it. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about the progress and I'm looking forward to the next 10 days because hopefully it'll be a breeze. Um, the other reason why this has just been <laughs> so hectic is I decided on Friday, actually no, I decided on Thursday that I no longer wanted to live where I currently am. I want out and I'm just going to leave it at that. And so on Friday and Saturday, I literally packed up all of my shit. And now today, child, I am moving. Okay. And if you don't know, it takes a lot of energy to move even when you are in your best shape. Okay. Or best health, I should say. Now, it's a bit a bit more difficult for me because, of course, you know, I, I'm not consuming as much food. My blood sugar is kind of fluctuating, so I don't have as much strength as I normally do. But... It's like, you know what, it has to be a mind over matter because I got things to do and I want to move. And so I'm going to move. Um, so that's what I'm doing. You know, today is day 10 and I have everything packed up and I'm about to go move to my new spot. And that's it for me. I'm just going to continue on the diet and, you know, go from there. I'm not going to reveal how much weight I've lost thus far. Just know that there has definitely been weight loss on it. I'm going to wait until the end and then I'll do um, a total once we get to day 20 
Um, but, you know, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for um, all of the messages and letters and group support that I've been getting from everybody, from those that had the surgery, considering to get the surgery, doctors, nurses. I mean, y'all are everything. So I really appreciate it. And it makes me look forward to continuing this um, documentary in a sense of my life and moving forward with this journey after weight loss surgery. So, you know, I'm I'm definitely excited about it and all of the videos to come. Like I said, this is gonna be days one through 10. Of course, the following Monday, I'll post days 10 through 20. Um, but for now, I love you guys. And, you know, just keep me in your prayers as we keep on pushing on, honey. Bye, y'all. Slaying in the kitchen. Simply Food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply Food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Simply Food.